Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can do live streaming to YouTube through using OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. So in order to connect the two accounts, we need to go up to the file menu and then choose settings. Under settings, there's a tab here for stream. You can see that you can select your service. In this case, we need to choose YouTube or YouTube Gaming from the drop down. On the second drop down, you have the choice of selecting a server. So generally, you'll just have this set to the primary YouTube ingest server. Unless for some reason it seems like the server's down, then you can always switch to the backup server. Aside from that, you need to get the stream key. So you'll see here that there's a link to go to your profile where your stream key is going to be located. So we want to click the link button here so that we can go into the browser and find that page. So it's going to be at youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard. For first time users, it'll also put you at the underscore splash page. You can see on this page the link that people will be able to view you live at. Now, if you have a new YouTube account, this may be an ID of just a bunch of random gibberish numbers and letters. At some point, they give you the ability to change it to an actual username of your preference. So for instance, you would later be able to change this to something like Chris Tutorials, but this may be initially what you get. And then you have the slash live. So anyway, hit the get started button. And apparently if this is your first time nowadays, you have to get ready in 24 hours. So I'll switch to a different account real quick so that I can show you what the page will look like after the 24 hour wait. So when you come back to youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard with an account that actually has live streaming activated. So you may have to wait 24 hours for that. You can scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see encoder setup here. So with encoder setup, there's going to be stream name slash key. You want to hit review on that and then you copy and paste the value into the OBS settings. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So back on the OBS settings, I'm hitting control V in order to paste it in. If you wanted to, you can hit control C in order to copy a selection on youtube.com slash live dashboard. So that'll make sure that you get the exact stream key. And then you need to hit apply. So now in order to test the live stream on youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard, I'm going to the basic info and I'm going to change privacy to private here temporarily. And the reason for doing that is so that no one will be notified about this live stream because it's not a real one. But then you can go back over to OBS and hit the start streaming button. So now that we have the stream set to private, we can go ahead and hit the start streaming button to test it without any real drawbacks. So I'm going to hit start streaming here. When you do that, you should see this green box appear and a kilobit bit rate, which is being sent to your YouTube servers. So this is going to be based on your streaming bit rate settings. If you have very high settings in OBS, but your internet connection isn't actually strong enough, then you may see it get capped at as fast as your internet is able to send data to the YouTube server. Either way, as long as it looks something like this with it showing live a green box and kilobit bit rate per second, then you should be good to go. You got to check on to your live dashboard and see how it's going to look in a second. So if you get this and you can't actually see anything, you can refresh the page. So there you go. You should be able to see whatever you're sending from OBS to the YouTube server. You, you can also unmute it see yourself and, and uh, kind of heal yourself there as well. So putting that aside, you just need to play around with the settings a little bit more, tweak it until it looks right. And then when you actually want to go live, make sure that you have privacy set to public so people can actually see it. So that's pretty much going to be it for how you connect OBS to YouTube for live streaming on the YouTube or YouTube gaming platforms. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.